Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's great to be back with you all and my partner, John Coleman, and uh, Dr. Liz Lister. How are you doing, Dr. Liz? Doing wonderful. How are you? Great. Good. Doing great, Dr. Liz. You are always looking fit. And um, I know Art kids me about working in my garden and the grove that we've got at our property, but how do you stay fit? Are you like Art? Do you practice Tai Chi or something? I love to do yoga, a little bit of aerobics, a little bit of uh, lots of walking, try to keep the baseline activity going. Okay, but I love to do yoga, all kinds of uh, health benefits to that, including helping with weight loss. People don't really think of it that way, but it turns out that uh, any type of practice that increases circulation through your body, and yoga definitely does that, is part of reaching and staying at a good healthy weight. Yeah, part I, of it. I, I have to uh, compliment you on that. I, uh, I assume that you practice uh, uh, on a fairly regular basis certain movements that uh, g give you a sense of flexibility. I know that I practice uh, Tai Chi several times a week. Uh, and I just, uh, you know, I'm not the most graceful person doing it, but I get a full range of movement uh, that I Beautiful. wouldn't ordinarily get. So uh, what, what kind of things do you do um, uh, on, a, on a regular basis? When I first started doing yoga, probably about 20 years ago, I did more intensive classes. I did it, you know, like hour and a half long classes, at least twice a week. That's one way to do it. Uh, then I got away from it because I just didn't, I mean, going to an hour and a half yoga class was two and a half, three hours out of my day. So I kind of got away from it when my kids were little and that things were very busy. However, I'm really happy that I've gotten back to it in the past few months. Uh, the, in the beginning of the pandemic, I was doing a lot of sitting at the computer and I was having back pain and I realized, okay, yoga is going to help me. And so it's been about, I'm coming up on about seven months of doing a 10 minute yoga practice, sometimes longer if I can, but at least a 10 minute, like a little video of a yoga practice, usually first thing in the morning, that's my favorite time to do it. The house is quiet and it gets rid of the aches and pains of, of being in bed during the night, uh, all, almost every single day for about seven months. And that feels really good. I've really enjoyed that. Now, Dr. Liz, I've always heard that yoga is really about stretching. Is, is it about stretching or more? It's actually about breathing. Oh, really? Yes. So the stretching, of course, goes with it. However, one of the areas of benefit of yoga is not just in stretching and flexibility, that's true, but also strength and balance. Very, very important. Balance, especially as we get older. You know, I tell my parents now that their number one job is to not fall down, which of course <laughs> is very important. So strength, <laughs> flexibility, and balance are all built up by yoga, as well as all variety of other health benefits that I know we're going to touch on. So uh, do you have a favorite uh, uh, a series of movements? Because you say you practice every morning for just a few minutes. Is there one that really helps you uh, that wouldn't necessarily help everybody? But is there a particular one or two that you can, uh, we're not set up to, to demonstrations, but that you can basically describe for, because uh, uh, most, most people will, you know, understand what a warrior bows or, or something like that. So do you have a couple of favorites right. that you can at least talk about? I do. I do. I do have a couple of favorites. So there's one really basic series of movements called the sun salutation. So people who've done some yoga, even beginner yoga, probably will know what that is. And it's just a really nice series of movements where your arms go up over your head and then you bend down and then you go part way up and back down and it goes with your breathing. So that's to what we were talking about a moment ago, John, that the breathing informs the movements. It's meant to go together. It's meant to be mindful and relaxing at the same time that it gets the blood flowing, it gets the flexibility going. 
that's one favorite move. Another favorite move is anything that includes a nice side bend. So that's easy. You know, our, what our listeners can just do that. That's kind of easy. I mean, I'm just sitting here in my chair and it feels really good. That's any kind of side bend. There's lots of different ways to do that. Those are a couple of my favorites. And, and does yoga, uh, yoga and meditation seem to go together, but they're not necessarily, it's just an, I, I get the sense that yoga is an opportunity to meditate because you hold a pose for a long time. Yes. Well, there's different styles of yoga and some of them you hold the pose really an extended period of time, like two, three minutes. Mm-hmm. Not all types of yoga do that. So okay. anything that, and anyone listening who's concerned or they don't like yoga for one reason or another, there's ways to do yoga that doesn't, that wouldn't do that reason to not do it. So I always recommend it. It improves pain. It lowers people's pain. There's a, a movement called cat and cow. You know, the way cats arch their backs and then the cow has like the sagging back. So they call it cat cow. And it's an, a wonderful spinal stretch for mobility and flexibility and reducing pain. Uh, it sounds like there are really a lot of health benefits. Can you tell me more? Absolutely. It's been studied and shown to help lower arthritis symptoms. Of course, that would be more gentle types of yoga, uh, better sleep. There's relaxation movements and poses in yoga. There's one where uh, your legs are actually up a wall. This improves blood flow to the trunk, to the main area of the body and cardiac heart flow. Uh, And that's very relaxing and helps with sleep, uh, reduces stress. So to your point of meditation, you don't have to particularly meditate, but it is is meditative. It is quiet and soothing. And I would say, I don't know if it's last, but it's certainly not least, is that a, a lot of times when people do yoga, you will encounter a supportive community and a kind of a culture. There's sort of a culture yeah. around yoga, which really emphasizes sure. self-care, eating well, getting enough rest. All, all of that's important. Uh, it sounds like a very healthy club to join. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, a lot of the people that I practice uh, Tai Chi with also practice yoga. Uh, uh, and there's a lot of similarities. I actually took uh, uh, about a year of uh, yoga early on in my uh, Tai Chi career, and uh, the the breathing, I particularly like the breathing exercises, and a lot of the ones where you just sort of sit still for Hmm. uh, maybe uh, three or four minutes of just total concentrate on breathing, and not moving and, and getting uh, stuff out of your mind of the daily stuff. It's very yeah. relaxing. Yeah. Well, it sounds like I could use some yoga uh, moves after gardening, mm-hmm. uh, raking in the garden, bending over, twisting, and hurting my back. Yes. Um, it sounds like yoga would be very good for me. Now, so for I you, appreciate for you, this. For you, is yoga before or after napping, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I'm going to say before napping. I'm going to go before the nap. You know, yoga, a lot of yoga practices end with a pose called Shavasana, mm. which is in English referred to as the corpse pose, which doesn't sound very good, but it's so relaxing. And it's basically mm. you're lying flat, your hands are palms up at your side, you let your feet roll apart. It's very relaxing. Some people like to put a little support under their knees, but basically you're just laying there very flat. And I've been in yoga classes where they'll do it for 10, 15 minutes and it's absolutely awesome. And not too many people start snoring. <laughs> and palms up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to nap. Right? right. Oh, well, then I think I mean, that what, we should, yoga- what we should probably do though is uh, so, cause John is sort of like in the right direction is we want to end this segment and then check in with John in about four or five days to see if he gets up from his uh, yoga position. <laughs> Wake me up, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Liz, this is great. I, I have a new appreciation for yoga. So thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, 
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.